Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Urban's Garage. Today, we're actually on our way to Gaithersburg, Maryland to Harbor Freight to the Big Boys Toy Store. We're actually finally going to be picking up a uh, tool chest because I'm tired of using my Porsche 911's roof as a tool pad to lay all my tools on um, or the floor. So we're finally going to be going up there. I'm heading up with my brother, Jackson, from Jackson's Garage. If you want, you can follow his YouTube channel also. And uh, hopefully we'll... We'll be able to fit in this car because it didn't fit. It was like four inches too wide in the uh, in the Model X. So, so we're up, heading up there, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Hopefully it'll fit in the car. And we got it in. <laughs> so thank you, Eva, for lifting that box into the back of the truck. <laughs> Wait, let me see that shirt. Let me see that shirt. Oh, turn around, turn around, turn around. There you go. <laughs> and we got a dolly. We got a dolly out of it too. All right, hopefully we'll make it home with this hoopty. Let's see how this thing comes out. All right, so we're done. We have the tool chest uh, back here. It's a Harbor Freight uh, US General, and it's the 44 by 22 tool chest. So it's got a large drawer up top. Um, it's got, you know, the mats already in there. It came that way. I didn't have to assemble anything other than the handle on the side here, uh, but it's got plenty of drawers. You know, some of the deep drawers are on the bottom. Um, and it's got a bunch of the smaller you know, drawers. I'm already starting to put some of my my tools in here. And I got all my uh, my different drill guns and impact guns. And this is my workhorse. Um, so, you know, the process was pretty easy. I went to Harbor Freight. They told me that... They didn't have it in stock that I could order it and I could get it in probably like two weeks. Um, that I ended up talking to a manager because I, you know, either the display model I would take at that point. I mean, I was already up there with my brother. It did not fit in my Tesla. It's about 40, it's about 43 inches, I think, or 41 inches wide uh, laying down. And it just didn't fit in the Tesla. You know, it has these little bolsters and bolsters in the Tesla. Um, so my brother has a Dodge Durango and it fit, you know, it had maybe an inch on either side or an inch, you know, to get by. But um, the unit weighs a lot. Um, it's pretty heavy. I'm guessing it's probably 175 pounds, 200 pounds. Um, super sturdy. It's got the wheels, casters with brake, you know, with the little brake on the, on the bottom. So you can actually roll it around. That's what I plan to do with a lot of my projects is to just be able to roll it around the garage and um, have all my tools. And usually if you've seen my channel, you'll notice that a lot of times I set my tools up on top of the... Uh, the Porsche 911, or that trash can there is another famous little tool, you know, bench. Um, and I do have a tool bench in the back and I've been kind of reorganizing the garage. My daughter decided to play with the styrofoam, so I got to clean all that up. Um, but, you know, we were able to get it in. Um, you know, shout out to Harbor Freight in Gaithersburg, Maryland. The manager there, I can't remember his name, I apologize, but um, he helped me out. You know, he went to the back and actually looked through the stock and he was able to find the box that I wanted, you know, the 44 inch, um, and they were able to get it to me. The other thing is I actually went to buy that box like a month or two ago and it was on sale. Um, that box costs 500 new. 
um, I was, you know, and, and uh, there was a $50 off thing and it was, so it was at 450. So it was cool. The manager was able to honor that just because I told him, you know, what happens. I went up there and I was ready to buy it. They had it in stock back then, but it wouldn't fit in my Tesla. Um, so I was waiting on the hitch and you'll, you know, there's another video regarding that. But uh, in the end, I just asked my brother to help me out because I can't lift that thing. Um, I have a bad back. If you follow my channel, you know that I had back surgery. I can't really do any heavy lifting um, because I put, my, I put my back at risk. So um, my brother, you know, Jason Jackson, you know, follow him on Jackson's Garage. Uh, he helped me out, um, you know, with his truck. He helped me lift. And then also my father-in-law, you know, you've seen him on my channel a couple times. My father-in-law, uh, you know, helped bring it down and and put it down and um you know it weighs a ton you know it was, it's pretty heavy but it's super sturdy i'm super happy with it uh you know the cabinets the drawers kind of slide out really easily and they're kind of like a soft you know kind of like almost like a soft close and um they come with little things to put labels uh right here so those strips are inside uh right back there and um, you get a set of keys you know so so that's gonna be it. It's just obviously nothing too exciting, but as I'm working on the mini, I just realized, you know, realized that I can't just keep my tools all over the place and having to find them. And there's certain things that I haven't used in a while. It would be much nicer to just have that tool chest. And since I plan to do a lot more uh, videos with, a, you know, the DIY with all of these, um, you know, home garage DIY. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and uh, and get that tool chest. So I just want to thank you all for watching. Um, hopefully, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment. Uh, er all that helps out my channel. Also, follow me on Omar's Garage on Instagram. It's uh, it's with a Z, so it's O M A R Z G A R G A R A G E. And um, I'm going to be doing more frequent updates on uh, on on my Instagram. And I also have Twitter, Facebook. So follow me on all of those. You all take care and stay safe. Mm -hmm.